The BIPOC initiative exists for a few different reasons. To increase inclusion in the sport of cycling, to increase representation of black and indigenous people and people of color in the sport of cycling. I am here trying to make it more accessible, more exciting, and more approachable for more women to come out and ride gravel at the Foco Fonda. Uh, definitely the overall goal is to like have more enrollment and representation of para-athletes, so athletes with disabilities in the Foco Fondo, and then bike racing overall. The leadership initiative this year is really meant to focus on uplifting non-binary and gender expansive riders. So we've got a scholarship program, uh, we've got some events that are situated around having non-binary and gender expansive riders be in community with one another. The most important part of this initiative is that um, it really gives these athletes an opportunity to bring what they have to offer from their perspective, their knowledge, their experience in the sport of cycling um, to the table and have their voice heard. We're basically just trying to uplift queer community and non-binary identified individual, individuals in the event. The Fort Follies are a local women's cycling team um, in the Fort Collins area and actually Whitney Allison was one of the founders of the Follies and that's a really big part of my involvement in the cycling community here and I feel like it's a great way to engage with more women on bikes in all different disciplines um, because I think it's a lot easier for someone to try a new discipline or try a ride or race for the first time when it's something that's in their backyard. So I'm in a wheelchair, I'm a para-athlete that will be racing in Foco Fondo and I have like a bunch of friends that also are leading initiatives to have these categories in other gravel races as well as adaptive mountain biking and so I met with all of them individually to talk about just how they're making these races more accessible. With all of this information, I presented it to the group at Foco Fondo so they could then have a foundation for what they would do at the race to make it more accessible. I think the larger goal as like gravel in general is to really create a, a niche area where you have you have the ability to show up as you are. I think a lot of racing in general is intimidating. That's what I hear, that's what I have experienced. Trying to make sure that everyone feels they have a place and a right to be at the starting line. Really incredible to see that this is something that is accessible and welcoming to people who have never hopped on a gravel bike before and this is something that's accessible and welcoming to people who I personally have raced with at some of the national stage events, but they are not in a, um, they are not in a place where they can make a cross-country trip to get out to Fort Collins without some help. We're very lucky in that we're able to offer these athletes, um, you know, everything from, you know, a ride from the airport, to uh, you know, housing and accommodations here in town. This year we were able to offer scholarships to I think six non-binary riders. We ended up having um, almost 10 applicants for our, our scholarship. I was really stoked to see that many people be excited about coming to the Foco Fondo for what we've been building for the last three years. In terms of things we talked about implementing at the race site, it would be um, assistance for people that need to get their bikes out of their cars and like not everyone needs that but I personally can't lift my hand cycle out of my car on my own. The space for the disabled parking, like not everywhere has that. Having a support rider, so this would be someone that you could have ride with you. So we have free registration for a support rider for every para-athlete. The sport of cycling means something different for all of us but some of the stories that people have shared about the camaraderie, about the escape, about the experience of expanding their mental toughness and expanding and learning what their body is capable of is 
I mean, always amazing to hear. The actual intention behind creating inclusive space in an inclusive event for BIPOC riders, for non-binary and gender expansive athletes, for para-athletes, like th that intention really propagates into this atmosphere that is, is almost intangible. It really just shows that like, we exist. <laughs> I think that all of these initiatives really create just an overall atmosphere of you belong at this event. I would say this is a great opportunity to make it the adventure that you want, the challenge that you want. Um, some people will treat it as a race and some people will treat it as a ride. And I think that is um, a great opportunity and great to have that flexibility to make it fit your needs. You know, Zach and Whit put pen to paper. The idea that they formulated here is something that is woven into the event every single year. And what that is, is truly all bodies on all bikes. And everyone has a place here, everyone has a distance they can do, everyone has something here at New Belgium for them on Foco Fondo Race Weekend.